Benji. Captain for the 11th time. He still hasn't led the side to beat his club coach, Tim Sheens, although he came close in last year's Four Nations for the 20-all draw. And now Darren Lockyer. For the record, his 54th Test match and his 24th on home soil. And it's also his 33rd captaincy. And uh, it is appropriate that this well, might be his last test match in Australian soil, that it would be here at the old Lang Park. Peter Sterling and Phil Gould in the commentary booth. <laughs> Wally's on the sideline. And Cameron Smith kicks off for Australia. And it goes into the dead ball area. And McHenry brings it out. Dominant. This massive young fellow Dominant. from Penrith. Oh. But uh, McHenry was the one that put the meat into it. Now it's Lockyer. He puts a little kick. Oh, he's made a mistake. The fullback go higher. And there's a try for Australia. Scored by Brent Tate. One of many test tries. His 16th in his 23rd test. Brent Tate has scored off the back of a Lockyer kick after Lance Ohio has been clean bowled. Just, it was a poor percentage play as... The Australians now through Cooper Cronk. He's looking for a 40 20. This is close. This is great. What a kick from Cronk. Inch perfect. And they'll get the scrum for That's a confidence booster. They've been put down eventually by Cronk. Now they go back for Fien. And Fien puts this kick across. And Perrot's got a leaping kick. They lose, but it's gone into touching goal. So it's a 20 metre. Simon Mannering. Fourth tackle for the NZers. It's gone away from Fien. It hits Ohio. It's gone. He's gone inside the 20, and has tackled 15 away. So what will they do with this one? It's with Marshall. Oh, forward pass to Kenny Dow. They're not going to call it. Kenny Dow scores a try. Kenny Dow scores for the Kiwis. Well, I might be wrong, but I thought Marshall's pass was forward off the hands. 6-4, the score doesn't matter what I think. Well, let's, 36 gone. Let's hope it wasn't, Brad, because it was a great play. It was a beautiful play, an old-fashioned play. We used to use this in the old days. Inside man runs wide, second man comes close. Watch how the player veers out, Bronson Harrison, and Kenny Dow runs into the hole. Now, unfortunately, the ball goes about a metre forward, but the execution other than that was wonderful, how it prized open. See how Willie Tonga went with Bronson Harrison and his centre opponent came from outside in to hit the hole. He'll play it on the 40 metre line then. Cameron Smith for Cooper Cronk. He dummies, dummies again. Goes out the back, fights Slater, Slater. They put him down, 20 away from the line. Here they come, Roberts. The Kangaroos at six all with the Kiwis. And here's Gallon back into the goal. You can feel it. You can feel it coming. Parry and thrust, belt and get belted. Suddenly, Australia turn the screws when the advantage falls their way. You can feel it coming. And I spoke about the mental. You could see the, the joy from the Australians at the mistake at the other end of the field and their reaction to this try. They know what a big play this is in the overall contest. Good Line running there from Greg Bird and Billy Slater had another mark man on his outside, but he stepped, scored himself. We play the ball, eight out, Lockyer dummy half. Gridley was smashed there by a flying tackle from McHenry, but he comes back the Newcastle skipper and he'll play the ball, ten away from the line. Play back for Bird, high ball, not good for Tonga, short for Lottie, but it's in the touch. It's good work by New Zealand. They were stretched there, but they've scrambled well. Australia way on top at the moment. New Zealand have got to learn to dig in here, and even though their opponents have got all the running, if they don't concede any more points, they, they give Benji Marshall a chance to get them back level on the scoreboard. Tackle by Cameron Smith. Lulawai to Fiend. Fiend gets it rolling. It'll go down to that dead ball line. Might ask the question of Doug. It's asked the question of Slater. They'll pick him up and put him back. Good defence, New Zealand. Yeah, big play there. Got an unfavourable bounce. Did 
Billy Slater. By Nathan Fiend. Here's Lulawai. On to Hawaii. Back to Marshall. A juggle. He grubber kicks in for Magic Gale. Oh, he's a genius. The Dragons have scored. The Dragon winger Nightingale. Well, a genius. They're going upstairs to make sure that Jason Nightingale is on site. They're looking to get home on the little men. New Zealand, they're all out there. They've left them there. Nathan Fien, Hohaya, Benji Marshall, Lulawai, Isaac Luke. And Benji, he's come up with the surprise play here. The Australians not expecting this. They've got up quickly. And that's why he kicked, because they were up so quickly off their line. Lottie Takiri. 15 metres off his own line. Uh, Big man to turn and chase. And Nightingale sneaks in behind. That, that is brilliant. You know, I was just talking about living with expectation. And Benji Marshall would know that unless it comes from him, it's not going to happen. The rest of his teammates know. Unless it comes from him, it won't happen. Well, it's got to come from him again with a conversion. So the try is there. The kick is still to come. To bring it to 12-10, Marshall and Nightingale. Well, he got this ball down pretty quickly on the mark, but he's taken his time as he comes back. Enormous pressure on the shoulders of this young man. The New Zealand captain, Benji Marshall, hits it, hits it high, hits the uprights, bounces back into the field to play no goal. Tackle by Smith and by Miles. Now it goes over from Fien and finds Manu. They're out on their feet, New Zealand. So Fien, now for Mannering. And he'll play the ball almost 40 metres up the ground, but they've used five. And here he is again. Marshall shaping the kick, running, passing. A flat ball across for Kenny Dow. Now for Nightingale. Nightingale down the right flank. The ball was touched by Australia. He's heading for the post. Marshall throws the ball. It's a speculator, but it's a try. It's a try for Fiend. Now there's a plenty of inquiry to be done here. Fiend has kicked the ball into the crowd with jubilation. Well, the biggest query is a pass, but we can't rule on it. A forward. We're looking to see whether the winger, Nightingale, has put his foot into touch. Running it on the last. This is Jason Nightingale on the outside of Takiri. He's in play. And that's gone back through the arms of Darren Lockyer. Benji Marshall picks it up. Forget any forward passes. We're not looking at that. That one's gone back. <laughs> and it bounces nicely for Nathan Fee, who looks oh. up. Well, <laughs> can look, you believe it? Well, just add a little bit more to this script. The start of the year, first game of the year for Nathan Fiend. He cracks an ankle. Here he is scoring a match-winning try in the Four Nations final. Can you believe this? Benji Marshall has instigated... Well, he's there at the start of this and he's there at the finish of it. He runs the ball on tackle five. He feigned a little kick, he feigned a step, got to the outside, put Kenny Dow outside Tonga. Watch this. Watch the genius at work. Tackle play, last play, he goes to the line, feigns the kick, steps to the outside, bullet-like pass to Kenny Dow, on the Nightingale, speculator back in field, who picks it up? Marshall, he looks like he'll score, he won't, he throws it out the back, Fiend picks it up, who can tackle me? No one, we're going to win the Four Nations. <laughs> Phil said they were out on their feet, well, they found something. Well, Benji found something, you know, after this game, this week, They'll be voting for the Golden Boot Player of the Year. Marshall, I think, has just stamped his name on that trophy. Well, he stamped his name on the Four Nations final. And now a shot of the Australian bench. What's left of it? Luke Lewis, of course, was lost prior to halftime. Brent Tate. This is the last play. Australia kick off into the last section. Hooter in the play background. On. It's come down to Slater, throws it in. Lockyer can't get rid of the ball. It's, it's it. over! It's over! New Zealand have won it! Three times out of four in the last four majors. They have been successful against Australia. And the field, just a sea of ecstasy and jubilation as the Kiwis take it out.